Hi everyone, this is Spray and Joy. Today I'm going to review Bulgari, Aqua Divina. Aqua Divina is the first feminine aquatic fragrance in Bulgari's line of perfumes. This perfume was sold only briefly because it was released in 2015 and two years later it has already been discontinued. Aqua Divina has a predominant ginger note which prompted me to buy it in the first place. However, I didn't have a clue about the actual fragrance before opening the package and trying the perfume. Um, other notes besides ginger include bergamot, quince, which is, by the way, a fruit I've never tasted, and an overall fresh impression that is expected from aquatic fragrances. The base notes are beeswax, amber, and woody notes. To be honest, I haven't come across any so-called feminine aquatics before. Maybe that's why the fragrance didn't ever become popular. The market is really used to masculine aquatics and there has been no demand for feminine aquatics as far as I know. So, I blind bought the bottle because several people have claimed it could suit a mermaid really really well. I think Bulgari is one of the best mainstream perfume houses, so I see why this fragrance has been discontinued so soon after its launch, only two years ago. Uh, basically, Aqua Divina is very unique, but not in a swooning Bulgari black style, and it doesn't have a lot of lasting power. The citrusy, gingery, fresh notes are completely gone within the first hour, and the heart and base notes are too weak to help make this perfume last longer. Now, I have a 40 milliliter or 1.3 ounce bottle, so <laughs> if you're curious about what mermaids could possibly smell like, send me a message and drop a comment, and this discontinued fragrance, which is a gem, according to Fragrantica reviewers, could be yours. Thanks for listening. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and get ready for a Lolita Lempica review next week. Laters!